Hi everyone, this is a training video brought to you by Cora Group. During this video, we'll demonstrate how to perform a station setup. So station setup is typically used during a traverse and it's the process of setting up a total station over a known point and performing a backside onto another known point. A couple of things to be wary of when you're measuring your height. So with any of the Trimble S series total stations, you have two options here. You can measure to true height or bottom notch. So depending on whatever one you choose, you need to specify that when you're setting your station setup parameters. Similarly, if you're using a Trimble Traverse Prism, you have two options here too, true height and a little lever that pops out from the tri -brack called the S notch. Again, you need to specify which one you're measuring to in Trimble Access during the station setup. For other similar videos in Trimble Access, check out our YouTube channel, Correct Training and Support, and feel free to browse our website, correctgroup.com. Okay, so this is a station setup using a Trimble S5 and TSC7 controller. See I'm connected to the instrument from the total station icon at the top of the screen and we can go in and check on the, the electronic level there. Target locked. Before I start as well I'll make sure I have the right prism selected and in this case I have a, a traverse, Trimble Traverse target set up um, on station 2. Um, with any of the prisms you've selected here you can always go in and edit and select a different prism or change the display name or the light. Okay, so the performance station setup, menu button into measure, VX and S series station setup, instrument point name. So I'm going to select from my list. The station I'm set up over is called S1TS. So select that. Instrument height. So with the S series total stations, you have two options here. You can measure to the true height, which is the little crosshair um, on the side of the instrument, or the bottom notch. In this case, I've measured true height. My height is 1.650. Accept that. Next, I'm going to enter in details of my backside. Again, I'm just going to go with list. You can either you can type this in too, but I'm just going to select the list. Backside point name is S2. So for the Trimble Traverse um, prisms, there's you can measure to the true height, which is the center of the prism. No target. In my case, target here, locked. There's a little lever on the on the tri brack that pops out and it's called the S notch so that's what I've actually taped measured there so you just make sure you select the right the appropriate um, part of the prism to measure to and my height on that one was 1.509 method is all those angles and distances so you can either do this with the auto lock on or off so you can see the auto locks turn on here which is indicating it's, it's snapping on it's locking onto the prism um, if you prefer to do this manually, you can turn the auto lock off and just sight through um, the total station manually and, and eye it in. Target locked. I'll just use the auto lock for this example then. Once you're locked on, hit measure. Okay, and you can see your residuals popping in the bottom there, horizontal and vertical residuals. Once you're happy with that, you can hit store. Station setup completed. And setup is done.